Bill Engvall of the Blue Collar Comedy Tour debuts his book, Just a Guy, a laugh out loud memoir chock full of wit and charm. He shares insights on being a guy, something he knows quite a bit about. Welcome, Bill. Well, thank you, Cheryl, and uh, welcome to my garage. What made you decide to pen a memoir? I wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means the same thing. Throughout my stand-up, and, and doing it all over the country, I realized that there's a lot of people that are just like me. The one thing I get a lot from my shows, people go, oh my, it's like you got a camera in my house. And what I wanted to tell people was, that's, that's great. I mean, you know, enjoy being just a guy. When I say just a guy, I mean, that's everybody, women, men, kids. So I wanted people to be able to read this book and say, oh yeah, that's just like my life. He just, you know, I wasn't abused. I didn't have a drug problem or was in a rehab by the time I was 13. Just regular guy. Yeah, you seem to be. I, I try, I gotta try. <laughs> Tell us how you got started in the show business, Bill. So I moved to Dallas and started spinning records in a nightclub. And they opened up a comedy club. And I went up there one night on a uh, open mic night. Just fell in love with it. My wife, she was there on the open mic night. And I said, well, I'll give me your number. I'll call you in a couple weeks. So I called her like the next day. And then we set up a brunch. And all I had done is one night of stand-up and a children's theater group. And we're sitting there at brunch, and I said, I'm looking for a woman who can handle show business. <laughs> and she takes a sip out of her mouth and goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, then I started doing stand-up regularly. I got a job at the Comedy Corner in Dallas, Texas. And my whole job was just to pick comics up at the airport, MC the show for the week, and then take them back to the airport. But that's back when guys like Shanley and Leno and Seinfeld were all doing the club circuits. So I learned from the best. But I never considered stand-up a job. It was always like, this is just a cool hobby, you know, until I find out what I'm really going to do. You know, it, it fulfilled all my job requirements. I could work at night, drink on the job, and sleep in late. I mean, there's no other job you can do that. You and Gail have been married for 25 years. Do you care to share your secret? Yes, it's very simple. Bourbon. <laughs> no, I, th I think the reason we stay together is because we try to do things together. And we realize that just doesn't work. Now, I don't know who came up with that mess. You gotta like everything they do. No, you don't. My wife like reading books, going to movies. I like hunting, fishing, watching NASCAR. We are so diametrically opposed that it works. I'm sure there's people we went to college with that are still going, they're still married? Oh my God, really? Because I'm sure nobody saw this going past day 200. What do you hope that readers will get out of your book? In one sentence, enjoy your life. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you, and I hope you will uh, come back to the garage at some point. We'd love to. <laughs> and we'll crack a beer. Bill Engvall's comedy is just as funny on the page as it is performed live. Learn all about the man behind the blue collar in Just a Guy, available everywhere.